Hey, how's it going? Is there any way you can help me with these ugly, clear, cloudy retainers? Wow, that is a really cloudy, pasty retainer. Kind of like yourself. Can you please stop calling me pasty? Mr. Pasty, you want a glass of milk? Sure, I'll have that glass of milk. What my special guest today was describing was your retainers look ridiculously cloudy or they just look dull on the backside. And how could you make them shiny? Well, simple. I have this little trick called mineral oil. And to make this a real long story short, my dad was a dental technician and learned this little trick in the Navy. So what it does, I'm going to demonstrate. There's a couple things I'm going to teach you what not to do, so pay attention. I'm going to tell you a little trick, so you might want to watch the end of this video so you don't do something wrong. Grab a, a polymer bottle and put mineral oil in it. You can see how dull and pasty this looks. So if I add just a couple of drops of mineral oil, that's all you need. Just rub it in with your fingertip. Does it probably need a little more? And that's it. Now, this mineral oil, I'm going to do one side and not the other. Now watch this. I can take this dab and there's a plenty will go a long way. I'm only going to do one side because on a dark background you can see what this is going to look like when it's done. So one side has mineral oil on it and one side doesn't. Now, all you need to do is take a nice clean paper towel and rub it in. Cause you don't want it to be like liquid, but check it out, it, it doesn't leave. So even though I'm rubbing it off, it still looks like it's liquid. You can see how pasty this side looks and how crisp and clean this side looks. So for presentation, you can definitely tell that this side looks like glass and this side doesn't. So you can do this with any appliance. You can do it on night guards. So what I do for night guards is I just let it seep in. And just fill all the, fill all the teeth. And I do both sides. And it turns it into like a glass look. Now again, take a paper towel and clean it all off because you don't want it to be oily. You just want it to get that high shine. Pink retainers, it looks great. I'll do one side. Wipe it clean. And get a little more drier. But I hope you can see what this looks like on a dark background. In my videos, I was using a different background. Well, one side is like crystal clear, and the other side, it's kind of foggy. So if you want your retainers to look like this, here's a good example. You can see what this looks like. You see the difference? It's a little bit wet right there. Again, you don't want it to be wet, you just want it to be soaked in. This side's pasty, this side's clear. It also works really good for invisible retainers. 
get rid of any of that blotchiness or the plaster that's stuck on your invisible retainer. And again, you can it's gonna help you because you can feel any sharp points when you're doing the cleaning. So you can get your finger in there, just get rid of the excess oil. Now it works for all dental appliances. And see how nice it looks when it's when it's finished. Like I did, I'm feeling for any bumps that I can take off with my handpiece. It just gives it a really, really nice, clean looking shine. Dentures. This is not high shine, but I'm gonna demonstrate what it looks like with a little mineral oil if you're not using this. Put a little dabs on it, put a little dab on there, and get it interproximal. And just gonna give it a glowing shine. All your teeth will look like glass. Rub it in. You can see what that looks like. For spring retainers, it's awesome. Not only do you do this side, you get the bar, you can get in there and just really you know, shine it up. It's gonna take any appliance to the next level. That looks awesome compared to what it looked like a second ago. And you can find this little great product at CVS. You can find it at Target, Walgreens, Rite Aid, anywhere that basically sells medical supplies. Or if you happen to click on my Amazon link and you're buying stuff on Amazon, you can follow my link, click on it, and it helps me support my channel. So thank you very much. I appreciate that always. Hey, I told you there's something you got to pay attention to. Now, regarding bonded, any type of bonded appliances, you do not, N-O-T, want to use mineral on these appliances. In pictures like this on Instagram, and there's mineral oil on it to make it shiny like that, but you do not want to put mineral oil on it. What it's going to do is if I added the mineral oil, it's going to make a separator, so when it's in the patient's mouth, it will fall out. No separate, no mineral oil on any type of bonded appliances that are going in the mouth with glue. Now what you can do, little tip, is use monomer. You want to shine it up just put a little drip of monomer on there it'll evaporate and it'll actually clear it up so if you want to make your appliances a little bit more crisp and clear just put a little dab of monomer on them gently wash them and you are ready to go if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe there'll be a new video coming out next tuesday 12 o'clock eastern standard time to help you have a better orthodontic lab business. Stay busy, my friends.